Alright everyone, so for today's OS 10 hint, we're going to be talking about calibrating your battery. Uh, it's an important thing to do, um, and um, so let's just get into it. Now, calibrating your battery to get the longest running time from your battery. Calibrate it sometime during the uh, first week you have your MacBook and recalibrate occasionally to keep your battery functioning at the fullest capacity. Doing this sucks because doing this will literally take you the entire day. I'm going to show you something on the uh, command line up there that will hopefully make your life a little bit easier. Maybe save you an hour, hour and a half maybe and uh, hopefully that will help you out when you do this. Okay. So, first step. Uh, to calibrate your battery, you want to plug the thing in, charge it all the way up, and um, make sure you have it fully charged. And make sure that your battery is in a fully charged state for two hours or longer. You may use the laptop during this time as long as the AC adapter is plugged in. Okay. So, after you have a full charge and it's been in for two hours, disconnect the power adapter with the MacBook running. And you may also use the computer during this time. When the battery goes low, you see the low battery warning on the screen. Okay, so this is um, this is where the tip's going to come into play here. Now, if you really want to like kind of hasten up the process a little bit, I'm going to show you uh, some things that that's just going to destroy the battery. Okay, so here it is. First thing you want to do is uh, the obvious: make sure your air port is turned on. That's one good way right there. Second thing you want to do is you want to crank the display brightness all the way up because the display actually uses up about 40% of your overall battery usage on your laptop. Uh, that's just the way it is. It's basically a fluorescent bulb that's serving as your backlighting. So you turn that thing all the way up. That's going to just murder the battery right there. After that also you want to go back to system preferences and make sure that all your wireless goodies are turned on. And why isn't all right, just bear with me. System preferences. Okay. So wireless good stuff. So that means your Bluetooth. Make sure it's turned on. Okay. Uh then security pane over here. You might want to enable that renote the receiver up front right there. So make sure that box is unchecked and that means it's on. And um, you might also want to tweak the energy saver a little. Make sure that your computer never goes to sleep during this. Make sure that you know you change this to never also. Okay. But I'm just going to throw this back here. And you might want to uncheck this little box here, put the hard disk to sleep when possible. So uncheck that also. Okay. Now, the Unix part is this. I'll show you a command that's going to basically throttle your processor usage all the way up to 100%. Okay and that's many meters right there and it's showing me the average of the two processor cores okay so base so here's the command command you want to type in on the command line is the word yes greater than sign forward slash dev forward slash no okay and then you're gonna hit enter of course now what's that going to do is it's going to crank your processor all right so there it is so if I actually go into activity monitor you can see it executing that command in the background one of my processor cores is fully utilized and that's going to suck a lot of juice I think these core 2 processors not core 2 but my core dual processor you know, that's going to suck up about, say, 39 watts of usage, I think. So, anyways. Now, that's just with one 
with one terminal window running this command. Now, you know, all of us with these, all of these Intel Macs, we all have two cores. So what you want to do, create another terminal window, and you want to get that second core active also. You know, get the cooling fans going, you know, milk the processor. So we'll execute, nope, we'll go to, uh, I gotta type it in, forward slash dev, forward slash no. Once again, that's yes, greater than sign, a space, forward slash dev, slash null. Okay, press enter. And as you can see right here, my other core has spiked as well. And you're going to hear my cooling fan come on. And that's a good thing, because this is really what's going to kill your battery. This on top of the uh, all the wireless going on. In addition to the brightness of the screen, full screen brightness, um, the cooling fans going obviously, this is really going to like cripple your battery and drain it, which is exactly what we wanted to do now, because you know, we want to calibrate this bad boy. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Now I'm going to bomb out of that process, I'm just going to stop that because I don't want to do this this whole demo. So you know. Control C in Unix will get you out of just about most most of the commands. So I hit Control C, and you can see my processor usage went down all the way, and I'm back down to zero. Okay. So, anyways, so what you want to do is that yeah, you you basically want to blast your battery until it dies on you, until the computer forces itself to go to sleep. Okay. And then after that, after it's gone to sleep, uh, the next step says turn off the computer or allow it to sleep for five hours or longer. Okay. Now let's think about the amount of time that's gone into this so far. We have two hours where you gotta have the battery at full charge, plugged in, and it's gotta be in that fully charged state for two hours. Then it's gonna take you. I don't know, depending on the state of your battery, say maybe about three, two and a half hours to actually drain the battery. So that's five hours right there. And then you have to let the computer sleep on itself for five hours right there on its own. So that's ten hours total. And then you gotta reconnect the power supply and charge up the battery into the full charge again to uh, get this thing going. And then you can actually start using your laptop again. This is a pain in the ass, but, you know, if you want to conserve your battery, you know, make it last a little bit longer, you know, this is what you got to do. And, you know, it even goes on to say that you want to re repeat the calibration process every two months or so to keep your battery fully functioning. And if you use the MacBook infrequently, uh, you want to recalibrate this thing at least once a month. I could not get myself to do that, so, you know. So, you know, what you want to do is, you know, take it off, take it off charge on occasion, walk around, watch TV, you know, do some toilet surfing, you know, bring it in with you. Why not? Everyone does it, you know. So just don't leave the damn thing plugged in and then you can save yourself from doing this at least once a month. <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, you know, I mean, just doing this, this is like a full day event here. All right. So that's basically it, your battery calibration. And just so we all know the command, uh, open uh, terminal window, type in yes, space, greater than sign, space, forward slash dev, forward slash null, press enter. I'm going to spike your processor core. Oops and do that for the number of cores you have so if you have two cores two terminal windows four cores four terminal windows drain your battery you know follow the steps and uh... you should be golden okay so that's the unix tip alright have fun enjoy peace